Good morning. Um, so yesterday uh, we finished off implementing the edit goal uh, server API in our little Go server. Um, and we have uh, the ability to pass in various details about a goal, including uh, and basically any changes. Um, we read the goal, we do a little quick check to make sure that um, the goal or member ID match um, and then we have a little transaction that does uh, an update uh, of the goal with a quick little bit of SQL uh, which is in the format I don't like actually I actually prefer that. So let's do that. That too. We'll see. Yeah, uh, doesn't make any difference, but um, when you're moving values up and down and stuff like that if you have any reason to do that and having a comma at the beginning is uh, handy only the first one doesn't need it let's just save that um so quickly as pretty pretty simple stuff there um but that's a little bit did mention that I was a little bit hesitant about not having any tests whatsoever um, for this server. Um, so last night I did a little bit of investigation into tests um, and I built our first set of tests. Um, uh, and to do that, I also added a new service. Uh, quick and simple, uh, a ping service. Um, so you can pass in um, a ping request with a message, um, and the message is optional. Um, you don't you basically have to pass in a JSON blob, but um, if you pass in the mess message value, that will be returned. Otherwise, it just returns pong. Um, so it's ping pong. Um, and then I uh, set up a little test for this. Um, so we've got a little quick test hello world, um, which is using Matt Raya's is um, library. So very, very um, slim wrapper on the uh, built in go test stuff. Uh, just to make it so that you can just do is equal, is true, um, is no error, um, well, no error, I think that one does, um, and so on. Rather than having to do proper if statements, you just do the quick thing. Um, and if it doesn't match, it'll put any comment as part of the message on the output. It's really nice. Um, and then we've got a test for the ping service as well. Um, and so what it does is it um, basically builds um, a new auto HTTP server. Um, sets the base path just as we would expect um, and then uses the the existing code for registering all the services that we have um, and then we create a little um, HTTP test recorder um, so that's going to take any um, output basically from the HTTP service and record it um, and then we have a little request as well created. And so I'm passing post because that's how this whole service is, is all post. Um, and I'm calling the API for the goal monitor service dot ping. Um, and then I have a little blob of JSON being passed in as the body. Uh, we then basically do a little serve HTTP write in for that request. 
Um, and then we use this uh, little is equal here to make sure that the code coming back um, is good. Um, and then we also just double check that we get the right string back as the body. Pong in this case. So if I pass in no message, basically, I expect Pong to come back. If I do pass in a message, um, then I expect that to come back. And so I can do a quick um, quick test of that. So I can just do, I've got, I've got to make a test, I think. There. So I'll just do it, yeah. But I could also just do code test, uh, do a minus V to see if the actual tests run, which is smart. So that's all built now. So the idea here is that um, this is the start, of, start of me having tests for this service. Um, but of course, the, the biggest problem here is that it's all database based. Um, everything is um, reading and writing to a database. So I'm going to have to basically mock a database or set up, have some sort of code that actually creates a dummy database and populates it and then starts working with it. I'm erring on the side of using um, a library called SQL mock, um, just because it gives you control, like in every test you would um, create the basic um, records to be returned on a read, um, and then it monitors and expects um, what what happens when you do a an insert and update and so on so uh, but I'm nowhere near that um yeah you know, this is all done last night so you don't have all the time in the world um so I'll have to do a lot lot more work on that and I'm probably I might have to do, might do that next week um but now uh, we do have a new edit goal service so i think what we should probably do today is just see if we can quickly whip up um, a front end usage of that edit goal so at the moment um we don't have any way of editing a goal uh, there's no no means of getting into it um we do have the Add goal though, um, and I think what we'll do, and okay, this is all prototype stuff, but it's there um, and it'll be worked on later. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll create a edit goal uh, root and component, um, largely based on the add goal, but obviously just missing some stuff. Um, and we'll see, see if we can whip that up as quickly as possible. Uh, in very little time, because I've already rambled too much. Let's see. Let's see how quickly we can do this. So, um, we're going to need a new route based on the ad go, I think. I'll just call it edit goal. Um, and then we're going to be, but if we look at goal, it's a good point actually. Would I need a ready? Nah, I think we'll probably be okay. Um, one thing I do need is um, I do need to make sure that um, parameters are passed in. So I just need to remember that I'm going to need to do this bit here. So let's... Uh, I guess we could probably just... Uh, Take that actually.
What we're going to do is we're going to pretend we've already got a call component. I'm going to do it all on the fly here. I'm going to pass in a goal ID. Can't use ID on its own because uh, that's um, a standard HTML thing and it kind of clashes. Um, so it's just easier. You can, you can use it, you can do it, but it, nothing likes it. So we're going to, in theory, we're going to have some sort of parameter that passes in the goal ID and we're going to do an edit. Uh, so we need an edit component. Uh, we have an add. We have an add goal component. Let's uh, take that and create a new one. Oops. Edit goal. Okay. Now, this will probably change in a minute. We can probably take all that out in a minute, um, but let's just uh, deal with the, the meat of the matter. We basically have a goal input um, and we're going to bind a goal to that. Um, and I think that's the majority of what we need. So I think we could take out all the measurement stuff. We want to keep a cancel and we want to obviously have a save as the primary. Um, we have a submit handler here that we need to deal with. So here, we are going to be using the edit goal root service. I'm going to pass in a member ID, token string. We do now need to pass in a goal ID. Um, and that will be coming from our goal that we're going to need to pass in. We'll get rid of that stuff in a sec. So. Goal, verb, value, prefix, suffix, end date, reason. Do not need a measurement, do not need a date taken. So that's all the data we need to pass in. Um, now what we what do, what are we returning on the back end? Did we actually finish that? That's a good point. But yeah, we did. Ah, uh, yeah, what we didn't do was we didn't read back to get the updated. But we don't really care about that. Ah, uh, but we do need to care, we do care about, we do care. Yeah, we need to get here. Yeah. So let's take these. We need take that, and we just basically need to do another read after the oops. Did I take too much? What's going on? There. 
Okay, we are not doing a new one. So we've finished the transaction, everything's been okay. We're now going to read it again, hopefully without an error, and then respond with the goal. Seems reasonable. I forgot to do that. That's what to do's are for. Okay. So in theory, we've got a goal coming back. But we do not have any measurements. We decided against that for the time being. So we'll take out that measurement there. We're going to now I'm going to need to update now so we're going to need to slice out so that's a good point it would be simpler just to go grab all the new all the goals again Make sure they're all in line, but now yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we definitely don't want to do a push there. We want to update and or remove an ad. Problem being here, we're not using a keyed set of goals, it's just a, an array. I could do could do it basically the same as that and just update it that's that's probably probably good enough actually
Let's try. So we're going to find um, we don't need to do that. We will do what we do. We might, I think I might break this out later, but for the time being, Because I could slice it in. Oh, I could just walk it. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's it's kind of a bit hacky to do it in one line without any opportunity to kind of do any validation. I oh, I kind of need to. I might need to sort it as well. Oh no, I don't know. That's something else. Okay, well, I'm wasting time here because there's there's different ways I could be doing this. What I really should be doing is I should I should do something in here to do a little update. Basically, overriding that kinda. But I really didn't want to do a lot today. I just wanted to make sure that the API is working. So, okay, what we'll do is oh, cheat. 
we will first of all panel to do. Right. But what we'll do is we will do reset um, because I know that as soon as I go to this new root, it will go grab it, which kind of makes that redundant returning a goal. I could actually just do that. Okay. You don't head too far. Right. So what we'll do is we'll just reset the goals um, and we'll go to the new route um, and that will mean that you'll have to just go grab that goal and do its thing. Okay. So we don't need default end date. Don't need the goal to be completely defined there. Do need that. Um, what we do need now is to pass in uh, a goal. So we have a goal coming in. We have a form. We bind in the goal input to that. Which is just updating those fields, which is fine. On click, we're just going to go back and save. We're going to do the submit handler, which is going to take those goal values, pass them in to the service, hopefully get a goal back, which we throw away and then go to the goal. Otherwise, we're going to do the non-existent message for authentications um, or an error. And then we've got a big catch just in case it all goes pear-shaped. That should do that. OK. One thing we do now need to do is just make sure that um, this root uh, works. Uh, I need to grab that. Does it know where it is? No, it doesn't. I'll just grab one from there. From there. That's right. It's a little bit of a thing you have to do for Svelte Spa Router. Um, you have to expose the params so that it can do its thing. Okay, now in my app, I've defined all the roots. And uh, let's do basically that. Mm. 
I might change them in a minute. I wonder if I can just do... I might use that form before. We'll try it. Right, so we'll add the edit goal. I was going to do just like the ad, have that edit goal with the param. But I wonder, but I'm going to try this, see if that method works by just using a, a suffix there. See what happens. Um, I probably need to do that first. Let's put it up here just in case. Actually, do it here. Let's just move that up there. Yeah, I'll we'll try that. First, first match wins. So if I do change this to be goal add, that'll come up first. Then we can have goal with an ID edit. Um, and if that doesn't exist, we'll look at the goal ID and then, yeah, so, okay. That will hopefully do its thing. Now we need to get there somehow. So we'll just do that from the goal component. Um, at the moment, like really, how, this is where I'm, I'm stuck on the UI. I'm not really sure what to do here. I kind of want um, a little toolbar somewhere that kind of hides and stuff, but I certainly haven't got time for that. Um, I need, I want it to be as clean as possible as well, because this is going to be a responsive app down to a phone level. Um, so I've got some ideas about some of the, the ways I'm going to do the UI, but I really haven't pinned it down yet. Um, let's, let's do a quickie. Let's, uh, let's just make it so that if you click on the, the title, it'll just go into edit mode at the moment. In the future, we might do something where Yes, where you might have a little menu or something. Especially when it's in like, we might do a hamburger menu here. Or when it's in a phone mode. I could do icons and things. I don't, don't know yet. Lots of thought to, to be had. So what we will do Let's just quickly make this a link then. Do that. to 
tickets else. Uh, oh. Import link from I think. Um, and we are going to construct um, so it's goal goal ID We'll see if that works. Okay. Oh, I've got some API changes there as well, haven't we? So we've got to be careful about that. Definitely, definitely working, is it? We'll see. Okay. Let's do... Let me test here, that worked. Make should be fine, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna do a quick, just client side make. Ah. Did I do wrong? I must have missed something there. So let's double check. So in app. Ah. It's not global. As I go, we'll get there. All righty. Build the charm and deploy. There we go, linky linky. And the URL looks okay. And it does nothing. Right, I wonder. I think that might be because. Yeah, because of the, uh, the fetch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I need to hold off. I need to give it a sec. Okay. So we need to do the same as we did in here. Is it in the goal? Ah, uh, no, it's the goal. Let's 
funny, isn't it? Yeah. Missed a bit. <laughs> okay. So when it's ready, then we show it because we need to resolve. If ready. That's the way. Yeah. The the other reason it might not be working is because of that URL format. I'm not sure that Svelte Spa Reader can deal with having static at the end. I think it might have to be prams, but we'll see. I've not used it that much, so. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm passing in the wrong thing. That's why. I want to pass in a goal, or do I? When I do a component for the goal, just pass in the ID and then I go fetch it, don't I? Mm. And that gets around the problem. Okay, let's do Can we do something slightly different on this one just for fun? Got on mount here. Instead. Pass in a goal, which we don't have yet. Mm, okay, I don't know. That's uh So on mount
we will Wait, it goes get and times dot go on ID, wasn't it? Did I put in the root? Import girls from stores. Okay, so go get a goal, pass the goal in, do the thing, hopefully. Oh, and I'm really close to. Needing to close down four minutes. <laughs> well, I say three minutes. Okay. Yep. Two minutes. <laughs> okay. Quick test. Uh, fingers crossed. Yay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's say, um, just change that. Always be developing. We'll just do that and see what happens. It did not like it. Oh, internal server on that one. What's the reason? Oh, SQL stuff. Okay. Right, okay. This is where we need to have tests on the API. Okay, so I need to sort out the SQL. I need to do a couple of tests. Um, but at least it got there. Uh, but I'm out of time, um, so we're almost ready with that. We do actually get it called, we just have problems. Okay, well that's that um, for Friday. Um, I'll probably um, have a little poke around if I get any time over the weekend to see where the uh, SQL problem is there. Um, but otherwise, um, I'll be back recording on Monday. Take care.